Wasn't sure if the floor patch was going to dry last night or not, but it certainly did. I'm just knocking off the high spots and future me will highly regret using my drywall tool to do so. Before flooring, I always take a straight edge along and make sure there's nothing sticking up, and if something is sticking up, it needs to either be removed or pounded down. I was really surprised at the amount of comments asking if I was going to use underlayment or not. Some of these floors have underlayment built into them, but this one does not. A good quality underlayment can help bridge some imperfections, helps reduce noise while walking, particularly on the floor below, but there is no floor below here. It can also add an insulation value, but since the underside is completely insulated, that part is pretty moot. The planks are almost four feet long, and I think I'm going to stick a joint about every 16 inches or so. I still have all my laminate flooring tools left over from when I was a contractor. The shocking part is I actually managed to remember where they are. Got to keep a gap along walls for expansion, and then of course the flooring needs to be laid. Nothing exciting going on in here tonight. No paint to watch dry or floor patch to watch dry. So we'll be back on Hank the Tank.